fine. I just kind of want, I, like, if people voted for Bush because they wanted to have a beer with him, I was going to vote for Hillary because I want to fuck her husband. So I feel like that's okay. I, would fuck, I know that his balls aren't saggy and he's a smooth ass. I just can tell he's that kind of older man. Like, I just know. I know it. I know it. He does. He does. He does. <laughs> He does. Um, anywho, what uh, I missed today, I missed Obama getting. I was going into a parking garage when Yo-Yo Ma started playing. I'm like, I've got time. This fuck's not going to do a quick set. And then uh, he did. And so then I get out of my car. I missed the whole fucking thing. We were onto like a helicopter. Like it all happened so fast. And I know I can watch it and rewind, but I want to be there for the moment when people go, "What were you doing?" Well, I was in a fucking parking garage, and the guy showed up late for work, and I parked behind someone and I had to the key. I mean, you know, I'm trying my fucking best to be part of the world. But, you know. So when Obama won the fucking election, I didn't think it would happen at 8 p.m. I thought it would happen six months later after a revolution. Like, I didn't know that you could still count votes and have a president. I did not know. So I come home, I've got my block of cheese, got my wine, my pajamas. I'm like, well, I'm hunkering down for the long haul. And then at 8 o'clock, Chris Matthews is like, I have an announcement to make, and I'm like, this is really going to happen, and then my fucking TV switched to HBO and to a rerun of Entourage, and I started going, nah, 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 nah. oh, yeah, and I'm like, no, oh, no, oh. and don't, before you judge me, and my fucking fiancé tapes that show, ironically, that is, he's a good person and not a hipster, he just likes, you know, like, sometimes you, someone tells you to write a spec script, and you start to tee the every fucking show, and you get familiar, I know, I'm throwing out language, but, <laughs> Let's just stop doing things ironically in the new year. You know, like, I watch Sex in the City now unironically. I will admit it's a wonderful show. The characters are rich. Every woman is like that. Even Tina Fey loves the show. And she mentioned it last week on 30 Rock. And uh, so, you know, every woman loves it. Even put, my friend wears black tights in Doc Martens. She likes it too. She wishes she didn't. Okay, so. <laughs> Obama is getting announced the winner. I'm watching fucking Entourage and I can't move my DVR, the remote, the batteries. And the, I can't get it to change and I'm screaming, I love you so much, Neil, but why do you set the DVR to take new episodes of Entourage? The first black president and I'm watching a fucking Jeremy Piven I'm screaming. My upstairs neighbors are black. They go, shut the fuck up. I'm like, I'm trying to support you. There is racism in America. If you don't think it's alive, come to my apartment. We don't like each other. But it's not because of black and white. They're just stupid and they think I'm boring. So it's just a, it's a, it's a personality difference. It's just they're younger than me. It's not a race thing. Get that out of your heads. <laughs> done. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank God they didn't fucking show Oprah today. Don't need to see her seeing something that I'm seeing. <laughs> they did show her? Oh, where, what was she doing? Where was she? Watching. During the speech? Yeah. By the grace of God, he shielded my eyes from that because I can't <laughs> take it anymore. I couldn't take watching her watch him win. It just felt like I was watching a TV show. Like, was there really a black president elected, or am I getting confused with like a Lifetime movie because there's Oprah and she's watching? I know what's happening. And she's just so needy, and everyone goes, oh, don't make fun of Oprah. She's been through a lot. She was molested. No. <laughs> molested people, and God love you, and you've been through a lot, are so fucking annoying. <laughs> right? There's two kinds of molested people. One, they're like Oprah. They succeed. They're like, fuck, man, I'm going to fucking stomp on this town. I'm a billionaire. I'm never going to stop me. That's one molested. Love those, right? <laughs> but they all still have that thing behind the eyes, like a Vietnam vet. When you look at them, they're so fucking... No, no, this is where I... It's not a Vietnam vet, but I'm just saying, like, when you see one, you go, I know where you were. Like, you know? But then when you see a molested person, you go, oh, they're so needy. Don't even let them ask you out for coffee. You will never fucking get away from them. They just... They need you so much. There's nothing you can do for them. You can't unmolest them. So you're never gonna win. And I just get angry that I'm television and I still can't afford wedding gifts for people. So it's like, when am I going to win? No one molested me. My parents are just going to average and they're like, do whatever. I wish my dad fucked me. I would have something to strive against. But I don't. They're like, do whatever. Jen, we love you. That's it. I have, a, I have nothing to fight for. I have no past to remove from my, my memory.
me. <laughs> so don't feel bad for her, so just feel bad for me. Go, Oprah's molested. That's why she got where she is. She's an outlier. Why is Jen not where? Well, her parents, they didn't molest her. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Have a wonderful night, and I'm sorry I was yelling. about the elephant in the room, which is molestation, <laughs> and how we treat everybody who's been molested with kid gloves. Thank God she got that out of the way. Ah, oh, the human id, Jen Kirkman. That was wonderful. That was very purging and cathartic. Are we ready for the next act, uh, Danielle? Yes, we are. We have two